It was a true integration between the characterization crew, the waste crew, and the operations crew with engineering and hoisting and rigging support the entire way to work through the process of what can we do with the reactor, how can we disposition the reactor, what containment containers do we need to get it uh, moved off site, and how do we work through that process. Uh, so the original disposition of the reactor was to store it as true waste for additional future processing at PWTC. Uh, once the reactor was out of the ground and packaged, uh, we began to take the data that we had and the, the information we had gathered about the construction of the reactor and we employed modeling programs to actually look at the reactor and determine what the real total activity was, what isotopes we thought would be in there, whether or not it was a transuranic waste, what the waste class was and how it would be packaged. Uh, that takes a significant amount of time. Uh, the modeling, I think we use five different modeling programs and we would cross check them. Those are done by engineers that are then rechecked by engineers that are then rechecked by engineers to make sure that our, our calculations are correct. So the intervening months were really spent working through this process. The benefit was that by doing that, we were able to actually establish that it was a class A waste, which is your lowest level of radioactive waste for disposal and that it could go in an industrial package and be shipped to a commercial disposal site in Utah. It had uh, very interesting radiological uh, challenges, uh, thus had very significant uh, uh, waste management, waste packaging challenges, which all get kind of put to bed today when that ships off. Uh, and so it brought a lot of very challenging, you know, work control, work management and uh, it takes a workforce uh, like the one we have that can do to do that kind of demonstrative work and better yet demonstrate their aptitudes as a learning organization. People are, are putting the effort in to make sure they're doing it right. They're analyzing the hazards. We've got the right controls in place and then they're working just hours to make sure we do it right. You're going to see the reactor in totality, um, st structurally sound, uh, in a cradle, then in a package, and then disposed of like that. I think this is a big win for UCOR. Uh, it's always a milestone when you take a reactor down and you get it packaged and shipped off. We've got. We're working on the, uh, uh, the other ones at this point in time, getting them ready to do this in the future. Um, it just shows us that we can do it. This is, is kind of new work for UCOR. Uh, moving into reactor decommissioning and hot cell decommissioning is different than what we've done in the past. So this gains us valuable experience as we move into this facility and then some of the more, even more hazardous facilities going forward to make sure we have the appropriate skills and, and preparedness to go in and do that work.